Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to another Sophisticated Saturday where together we work through my to-do list and get things done around the house. We're starting in the office because I wanted to print labels for Owen's lunch boxes. A couple of them are new. Actually, just one of them is new. And the other ones, the labels were falling off or I had never labeled it. I need to get that done because he goes to daycare and everything you send there basically has to be labeled. So I'm trying to find bright colored vinyl that's going to match it and look good with each lunchbox. I've been using these Bentgo ones that have built in coolers or ice packs, which I like, but they say they're dishwasher safe. They've warped a little bit. I think the outsides you're supposed to wash hand washing and I have, I think a couple of times they've probably gone through the dishwasher and maybe that's why they're warped or having trouble closing. But I also just got this darker blue new one, which I really like the sizes of the compartments and all of that. I actually have a discount code for them. If you saw on Instagram, I shared, we were making some homemade ice cream with a new ice cream maker that I got. It's from the same company. So my code will get you a discount off their entire website. They have like slushy makers. They also have some really nice food storage containers, a bunch of other things that I still wanna try out, but the ice cream maker was really fun. The lunch box is really fun. I also got a quick pop maker, a popsicle maker that's like instant. You keep it in the freezer and then you can add your liquid and ingredients and it makes popsicles very quickly. So I will have to share that at some point once I figure out how to use that one. But this is pretty basic. All I'm doing is printing out Owen's name. I'm also printing off some backups in case they get damaged. So next time I just have them ready to go and don't have to reprint them. If I don't use them for his lunch boxes, I'm sure I will use them elsewhere. But it's just kind of fun to have these nicer looking labels rather than a Sharpie marker or a piece of masking tape or something. And this is the new lunch box that I was mentioning. I love the colors of it. It comes in a couple of different colors. And then here are the containers on the inside. Banana bread is still cooking. I have some time to pick up the living room, the room that is always messy in our house at least once a day, but it's probably the quickest one to clean up. It doesn't take long at all to just grab all the toys, fluff the pillows, fold the blankets, and voila, it's clean. Sometimes when I'm picking up, I feel like I'm the one who's doing the puzzles and doing Owen's games and things like that and playing with his toys because he's grabbed everything and put it all in his, in his cute little Target shopping cart. So I'm having to put everything back that goes with each puzzle and each piece. When he's around, we do practice cleaning up. He helps me clean, both cleaning as in sweeping and mopping and using a microfiber cloth and that type of cleaning he loves to do. And also picking up his toys and cleaning up after him himself, but sometimes I just let it go because it happens so many times per day that I don't need to push the lesson that often. I'm also grabbing these black and white cards and other cards that I have that go with Henry's play mat. This is our favorite play mat. I used it with Owen, loving it with Henry, but it comes with these black and white cards and having a toddler now, he loves to grab them and get them a little bit crumpled up. So I am just gonna laminate them so they're a little bit harder to destroy. <laughs> so they'll last us longer. I have a laminator. I don't use it as often as I probably should or could with different crafts or projects to help preserve things. So I'm just gonna put two on each sheet, send them through the label maker and then cut them back down to size.
Once those are done, since Owen's lunchbox was finished, I am going to do a little bit of packing in his lunchbox, but mostly today, the recipe or thing that I'm cooking or prepping is a fruit salad. Now hear me out, this sounds very basic. Yes, you're gonna watch me cutting some fruit, which is not mind blowing or anything, but I have started making this fruit salad Gosh, oh, I made it the first time when we had our newborn photo shoot. We were going to have Jim's family come over to help out during the photo shoot just because I was worried if we had a toddler and we were taking pictures with a newborn that he would be in and out of the photo. So it'd be nice to have just an extra set of hands. And I wanted to make brunch that day. So I made a heavier egg dish and thought it'd be nice to have some fruit and found this recipe for fruit salad that I've been loosely following ever since. I don't really follow what fruits they say to put in there or how much fruit to put in there. I just follow the dressing recipe and again, follow the dressing recipe pretty loosely. <laughs> so I will link that recipe in the description box below. It doesn't add that much sugar or anything to it, but it just makes it taste so delicious. Jim and I are completely obsessed with this fruit salad. So he's been saying this should be a staple in our household. We should just do fruit salad like twice a week or something because with the dressing on it, the fruits do not last as long. I do have to say that. One of my favorite fruits to add in here, and if you're gonna make this in advance, I'd probably wait to put in is bananas. It adds this level of creaminess almost to the fruit salad. So don't skip out on the bananas, whatever fruits you do, just make sure you add a banana because it's delicious. Then I am getting started on the dressing. I am zesting some cutie. <laughs> you can zest some orange or tangerine or really anything like that. I am adding in lime juice. I'm just juicing one lime here. All of this is just kind of optional and to your taste preference. Again, you can juice some cutie, some tangerine, some orange, but get some of that flavor in there. I'm adding a little bit of orange extract, some cinnamon, and then the last thing that you're gonna add in there is maple syrup stir it up and dress your fruit salad. And like I said, it's not that much maple syrup, but it makes such a difference on the fruit. It tastes like a dessert. I could eat just bowl after bowl of this stuff. The fruit salad is prepped, so I need to keep cleaning this house. The kitchen table was a mess from breakfast. I'm telling you, if I don't clean things up right away after each meal, things are stuck on the table, they're stuck on the high chair, they're stuck on the floor, but a lot of times I just don't have the hands to do the deep cleaning that I wanna do right after each meal. It becomes a little bit inevitable that things get stuck on. Usually I do use microfiber cloths, but sometimes for a really messy space with the first pass, I will take paper towels, which is what I just did there. I'm giving the area a little sweep because there are crumbs everywhere and the floor is so gross. And then I'm also going to use my quick mop and mop down that area as well. Next up, we are going to pick up this laundry room. It's a mess in here. I had stuff hanging from, I don't even, know when, but it's been hanging there for a while. So I need to get it out of the laundry room and put it back into my closet. I had a lot of milk storage and bottles and pump parts all packed up because I took them on the go with me and need to unpack that bag and put it back away. I keep all of this in our laundry room just because there's a lot of space, not as much space in our kitchen. And I've plugged this mini fridge in here, which is helpful to store 
breast milk in and we have this new contraption this bottle washer which needs to be by a sink again I don't want it taking over my kitchen countertop and there's more room in the laundry so I have the bottle washer here and it just all makes sense to have it together and in one spot and plus our bedrooms are up here the kids bedrooms up here so it works out really well for us I think it was my brother and sister-in-law who did the same thing they have a laundry room on their second floor that's where their kids are they were formula fed but they put their baby Brezza formula maker thing upstairs in their laundry room and said it was a game changer. So looking forward to the part of the sophisticated declutter where we move on to the laundry room and cleaning products just because I feel like I need a refresh of this space. It's not 100% working for me. And I think I have some things that I can probably declutter here or just need to clean up. I had some stained items over here by the sink. So I am going to work on stain treating those pillowcases that were from pillows from the basement that Jim and I saw had weird marks on the backs of them. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get the stains off of those. If I can't, I'm just gonna toss them. Not that big of a deal. I've had them for a very long time. So I'm gonna toss a load of laundry in and that is it for today's video. Thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, I will see you all later.